Hey, and welcome back to New Super Mario Bros. U. We're going to start here in the Spinning Spirit House. Another ghost town. I love these. They're my absolute favorite. So, um, let's get this underway. This is my brother playing here. And, uh, the ghost castles in this game are fairly interesting as they're a lot a lot more complex than any of the ghost castles I've seen in any of the other Mario games. The other Mario games, there are a couple of ghost castles where um, it was actually somewhat of a challenge and you would get lost and have to figure a way around, but there's never any that was just completely mind boggling. Like uh, some of the ones, I mean, you may remember one earlier that. I spent a ton of time just trying to figure out where to go, so I find that interesting that they have actually added a little bit of depth and challenge to the ghost castles. Anyways, this one's uh, a lot of fun because you can just slide back and forth on, I guess, this part of the level that we're on. I don't know what to really describe it as. And I don't know if that was the right way. I'm not really sure. Um, oh, always take the stairs. Remember that. Let's, uh, there's still more. Oh, I guess we're going to uh, go here since it's the only one that's available for us at the moment. Hopefully that was the right choice. So we're not going back to the beginning at any point in time. Oh, see if uh, he can grab on. Grab on, grab on, come on. Just having some trouble grabbing on here. Oh, man. <laughs> he, I don't know what the deal is with that. Couldn't figure out how to grab on, so I had to escalate him all the way up. So that's always intelligent. Uh, back in this room again, a room that looked very similar. They're always slightly different. Um, let me just try this one, may as well. work our way up in the spinning boo circle and I don't think this is the way we need to go for per se I think it's just an optional route to get one of those big coins so let's just pierce, kill some of these guys I guess while we're in here and we'll regain our lost health right here by getting another fire flower and head right back into um, Go ahead, but right back in the room we were just in, and now this time probably head down. That's not letting us. We're back here again. No? Is he gonna let us head down? Now we're in this room. Doesn't make any sense. <coughs> We're gonna go right back up, since apparently, I don't know what just happened there, there was nowhere to go except for the room we just came from, so now we have to head all the way back up. Just go ahead and kill all these dudes again, get them out of the way, and go right back where we just came from for the second time, and hopefully this time there's something to do. Alright, now it's letting us go down. Pretty sure we were over there last time, but whatever. So we have our uh, star ability, so we're going to take out any of these guys that come near us, trying to make our lives hell. I like how you can just slide back and forth back and forth. <laughs> it's the most entertaining part of this level is that right there. Here we go. That's it. Hopefully this will just about do it for us. And excellent. Put us here at the end. Nice little beautiful ghost town area. I feel like some of these uh, ghost towns would be fantastic level designs or concept design for part of uh, Luigi's Mansion. I might be completely wrong on that, but 
think it would definitely be an interesting idea. Come on, any day now. Cool. So, one level down, several to go. Huh, <sighs> you're tired. Time to first ghost town in Moraine Land or whatever this is, Moraine Clouds. What is this? Moraine Clouds, yeah. Uh, now we have this little weird obstacle course where I wasn't paying attention, but I wasn't really sure what I was supposed to be doing here, so I just kind of chose one. It's uh, not the right way, so it's going to take me and this guy for a forced little kill him with stars event. It's not too hard. But just kind of a waste of time more than anything. Come on, there we go. Two to go. Whatever these guys are. Black face is there. So we get another star, yeah! Stars! Resident Evil quote. No. Anyways. And our item goes away, so that sucks. But we are here in a bouncy cloud boomerang. Um, I'm guessing we're going to be finding some bouncing clouds here somewhere along the way. So let's uh, continue on. Um, this level and the clouds, I don't know if you guys have ever played this game, but it reminds me of Aladdin for the Super Nintendo. There is this uh, level where you're like kind of in the genie's lamp or something. And it's kind of in the sky, and there's like clouds and stuff that you're bouncing on and hanging from. And then there's like the genie has all these like figures that you're swinging around on. Anyways, this level for some reason reminds me of it. Or it's kind of zone per se. No one else is probably going to know what I'm talking about. But you might. If you do, you know how awesome that game was Aladdin for the Super Nintendo. Back when uh, kids' games were actually fun, these like cartoon and Disney games back on the old consoles were actually legitimately fun, and I still play them. And some of them are actually really, really hard to the point where I've never been able to beat them. Like the Jungle Book on the Super Nintendo and The Lion King, two of the hardest games I've ever played, especially The Jungle Book. Um, the Jungle Book is just. Uh, insanely hard. I actually was better at it as a kid than I am now. I've tried going back to play it, and it doesn't usually end well for me. But, I don't know. <coughs> I think those games were made by Capcom. I'm not positive on that, though. Back when they made good games. Bam, that was brutal. Anyways. <laughs> I think we're gonna die. Not positive. I seem to recall dying here on this level, which is unfortunate since we're so close to being done. Well, that was a cheap shot. Oh, no, we do not die. Take that back. Too good for that stuff. I feel like there's an extra level in this batch than there normally is. There's normally only two levels and then a castle or something. I feel like there's three levels, including that ghost town. <coughs> yeah, so we have one more level, and then we have the castle. Sneaking above in this valley. Oh, I hate these levels. It was up to me. We just skip the snake, just go all the way across. See what happens. I wonder how doable this is. Since neither of us are very coordinated or good at working together. We're trying to die. This is my brother playing this one, so probably means we're gonna lose even more. Let's go up a little bit, so if we start to fall, we have a little bit more of a grace period. This is definitely not the right way to do this level, but um, watch out for those clouds. You can clear them with the game pad, but they'll shortly come back, as you can see right here. Cool. 
Then the guy again. Then poop. Alright. Just go ahead. <coughs> I wonder how hard this level would be without cheating like this. So we're coming up fairly... Well, I guess we're doing decent at this. That would have been nice to have, perhaps. Some more of these guys, come on. Yeah. I feel like they're gonna blow us off the cliff. Yeah, these guys are gonna blow us. Not the good kind. Oh, trying to die. Up, up, up. Anyways, E3 is coming up in about a month and a half-ish. And Nintendo just announced that they will not be having a press conference this year, which is uh, certainly an interesting and bold move on their behalf. I'm not quite sure what their thinking was with that. Um, I mean, not necessarily vital. Oh, well, we're going to die here. <laughs> good save, good save. Um, I was at their conference last year, it was a little bit lackluster because they didn't really show off anything all that exciting, but I find it weird that they're going to do that. It's kind of like expected and a staple of the E3 event to have a press conference and they are just scrapping it all together. So I wonder how investors will respond to this. I was really looking forward to being at their press conference of it this year because I'm expecting some good Zelda information and now they're not going to have any obviously that's well they're gonna have Zelda information but I was expecting like a cool little press conference with a trailer maybe Miyamoto showing up and doing another little Hylian sword and shield skit that he likes to do I don't know something cool but we'll see what happens what comes from their announcements last night so Hopefully things end well for them, and E3 is an exciting, fantastic event for Nintendo. I feel like they have a lot of cool stuff they can show off this year. It might turn things around for them. So, let's see. And level over. So we have one more. The video is a little bit longer than usual because there is that extra level, which was the Ghost Town. <coughs> Those ones always take us a little bit longer. Yeah, I'm not going to post that. Thanks for the option, though. And then we, of course, have the option of getting a free item over there. But, don't really need that at the moment, so we're going to go into Ludwig's Clockwork Castle instead. And, uh, here we go. Hopefully this level is fairly easy, and it won't take too much time. There we go. Still sticking with the clouds theme. I'm not sure how much the clouds are going to play a role in blocking our sight. They don't look to be all that problematic, but yet they're in here for whatever reason. Oh, whoops go back here really quickly. You don't want to get squished by those, so stay alert. And this is me playing again, so... Whoops. I'm being sporadic. I'm trying to just to get up. My brother's going to have to hold that for me. I was... Man, I'm just jumping all over the place and being insane. <coughs> So let's keep this going and other cloud. What well, that's gonna do? Got these guys. Lame. We go up. We go up. And hit a pal. That's how you get this big coin here, which is probably going to be pushed off of the cliff. So that was really nice. Anyways, we're halfway done with this uh, final level on this episode, and I think after this episode we might have two or three more videos. Which I will have done and uploaded before Monday, so, um, yeah, I do want to have this entire thing done before I leave for Israel on Monday morning, so definitely shoot that stuff. Definitely, um, stay alert for that, 
and then it will be a while before I upload any gaming related videos as I will be out of the country for three weeks without any well, I'll have my 3DS but I'm not going to have the ability to record or edit or do anything but I will be uploading some videos of uh, Israel and Jordan as I said in a previous video so stay tuned for some of that it's very beautiful over there and while it's not gaming related I'm sure you guys will still appreciate some of the stuff that I will be seeing so I'll be uploading it <coughs> hope you guys like it maybe I'll sneak in some Zelda references while I'm over there or if I find any cool gaming shops or something I don't know I don't really particularly know what percentage of is Israelites or Jordanians play video games that might be interesting to see um, I know they have Pokemon over there so because I have some Hebrew Pokemon movies and books from when a friend visited Israel a few years back <coughs> right, here we go Boss fight time, and I've got no health on me, just mini Mario. So I'm going to go ahead and power up this gamepad ability if we can get the timing right to actually activate it. Here we go. This guy doesn't look too hard. reason I feel like I'm using the wrong mic and my computer restarted earlier for an update. I hope that it's still synced up to the right mic otherwise I, I apologize for this poor audio quality. It's not going to be good. I'll know here in a minute when I go to edit it after recording this. Oh, that sucks. Oh, watch out. This guy replicates. There we go. Thankfully he shoots his spells fairly slowly. Two hits down, one to go. Whoop. Almost got me there. Poorly timed jump almost ended me. And one last time, sort of reminds me of Ganon, where he tried to play lethal tennis with you. Whoa, close one. Oh! <laughs> Here we go. So that concludes this episode of New Super Mario Bros. U. Stay tuned for more videos as this LP will be finishing here over the next three or so days. Thanks for watching, everybody.